Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike and today we have another Tiki Bar review, but not just any Tiki Bar. We have two Tiki Bars and we're going to review them in a battle of the Tiki Bars. Yes, I went bar hopping. Oh my God. Yeah, I went to two bars and that's considered bar hopping now. <laughs> How times have changed. But yes, we went to two quintessential tiki bars in Inglewood. We went to Snooks on Lemon Bay and we went to the Sandbar in downtown Inglewood on Inglewood Beach. And we have a comparison between the two tiki bars. But first, if you like these Tiki Bars reviews, please like and subscribe and hit the notification button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And now, on to the Battle of the Tiki Bars. Snooks and the Sandbar are both located in Inglewood, Florida. They're only about 10 minutes apart, a couple miles. Snooks is on Lemon Bay at the Royal Palm Marina. And the Sandbar is on Inglewood Beach right at... The intersection as you come over the bridge where the traffic circle is. Since the first tiki bar we went to was Snooks on our epic bar hopping night. Eh, I guess you can't really call it bar hopping since we already went to two bars. On our bar hop, we hopped. We went from one bar to another. On our epic bar hop, we will start our review at Snooks. So the first thing you see when you come into the Snooks parking lot is the Tiki Bar right there. That's also where the band is. If you can't get parking out here, you're going to have to go back towards the marina side. But they have a big stage and lots of uh, space for the band and people want to hang out, watch the band dance or what have you. It's also the entrance to the Tiki Bar. Another view of it. Nice covered awning. This is the entrance to the Tiki Bar proper right here you just slide in through all those uh, little things and the bar there is on the left as you continue walking in with the bar there on the left you come to one of several seating areas this one's covered right on lemon bay with great views they've got tables they've got a bar you can sit out and look out at the water and if you continue walking out then you'll come to some outdoor seating and they have some tables and they have some seating at the top of those stairs there but that was closed when I was there. Overall great seating overlooking Lemon Bay for those uh, fantastic sunsets. Now you're going to find that the uh, menu at Snooks is um, basic the typical kind of food you would expect to find in a tiki bar. Lots of uh, of your favorite bar foods. We had, uh, well, I had chicken wings and my friend and I shared a plate of nachos. I got to say the, the chicken wings were delicious. The nachos, on the other hand, were eh, about average what you would expect. But certainly um, not bad. Uh, you're going to find some type of comfort food there that you want and... It's pretty good. And the short drive away in downtown Inglewood proper is the Sandbar. The Sandbar is located right on Beach Road. As you come on to Minnesota Key over the bridge, you'll find the Sandbar on your left at the big traffic circle. You can't miss it. In the interest of full disclosure, I had been to Snooks uh, in the past, and this was my first time going to the Sandbar, and I had a really good time at the Sandbar. So let's go in and check out the Sandbar Tiki Bar. So the Sandbar is not just a bar, it is several bars that you can choose from to uh, partake of your food and or cocktails and things like that. One of the reasons they call it the sandbar is because there is sand all over the place. And they have these great couches with um, fire pit tables that you can sit at if it's a little chilly night. Lots of fun, lots of interesting places to sit, nooks and crannies and, and what have you that you can just hang out in and enjoy your time. Here you can see a lot of the sand at the sandbar, hence the name. They have a huge stage for the band, lots of tables, uh, dance floor, good place to hang out. The sandbar has a much more robust, 
Robust, one of those words I haven't used because that was only a word you used at work to try to impress people. But it does have a much more robust menu than Snooks. Uh, definitely more entree type stuff if you're looking for uh, that type of dinner. But they do have all the comfort and bar food that you would associate with a tiki bar. I had the flatbed uh, pizza and it was delicious. My homie had the Philly cheesesteak and he said that was delicious. Now that we've established that both the sandbar and snooks are quintessential tiki bars that you need to put on your tiki bar list of places to go. If you haven't been to either one of these, you need to. You're going to have a great time at both of them, though they do have different personalities. However, we are measuring a tiki bar by its pina colada, and it's time to get to where the rubber meets the road, the pina colada reviews. Before we get to the pina colada of Honorable mention, look at this giant margarita my friend got at Snooks. It, it was huge. Here's my pina colada at Snooks. Not a bad looking pina colada. A little on the plain side. And, and, you know, a proper tiki glass would have set it apart. But not a bad looking pina colada. Cherry, lemon, whipped cream. There you go. That gives us a thumbs up. Here is the pina colada I got at the sandbar. I gotta say, I was a little disappointed when I saw it. Spinning it around on the bar didn't make it look any better. It was just a plain old cup with some white frozen stuff in it. It is what it is. It's not. Apparently the money shot was missed, but I think you know what the end result is. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. A battle of the tiki bars in Inglewood, Florida between Snooks and the Sandbar. So... There is a clear winner as far as the pina colada goes. But if you're looking for a place to go, go to both places. Both Snooks and the Sandbar are great places to go out and have a great time. And get some food, have a couple cocktails or whatever, and have a nice evening out. Uh, again, Snooks is on Lemon Bay, right on the intercoastal waterway. I think they've got a little better sunsets because they are right on the water. Although the sandbar is on Inglewood Beach, it is back a couple hundred meters and there's a little berm for the beach and you still get a nice sunset, but you don't get to see it go down over the water like you do in Snooks. Now, probably I dare say maybe the um, sandbar is a little bit more uh, sophisticated than Snooks. Uh, Snooks is in the marina. It has a uh, smaller menu, but you're going to find plenty of food there that you like. The uh, menu, while not as extensive as at the sandbar, you're going to find food that you like, and they have any type of drink that you want. And they have bands and live music, and it's a great place to go and have a good time. Parking is a little tight there. Uh, it is at the marina, so if you can't actually park around Snooks, you got to go find parking out around the marina where there's um, boats. Uh, I don't know what they call them, but how they store the boats on those things when they're not in the water. you got to go find some parking elsewhere. The uh, sandbar uh, really uh, got a great location. Uh, the atmosphere is great. I really like the fire pit tables and the couches. Uh, they got a nice, well, they both have nice big stages for bands and things like that. Um, the sandbar definitely has a more, uh, more extensive menu, lots more uh, different types of foods. So if you're looking for maybe something a little bit more elaborate to eat, you want to go to the sandbar. Uh, both of them are 
fun and easy to get to if you're in the Inglewood area. I would suggest uh, checking them both out at some time. But as far as the peanut coladas go, the clear winner is Snooks, without a doubt. Uh, the pina colada I got at the sandbar was just sad. Now, to be fair, I need to add a caveat. When I usually go to a place, I tell the waitress or the bartender, wherever I were, that, hey, I do tiki bar reviews on uh, YouTube and give me the best pina colada that you've got. Uh, at the sandbar, which I did at Snooks, but at the sandbar, I had gone to the restroom and my buddy ordered me a pina colada and he did not uh, tell the bartender that. So, um, you know, I just got whatever uh, kind of uh, pina colada you get when you go to the uh, to the sandbar. So I, I don't know if they would have made something different if I had um, been the one to order it and tell them, hey, I do a review on, on pina coladas and things like that. But... I decided just to go ahead with the pina colada I got instead of asking for uh, or mentioning, you know, that I'm doing a pina colada review and maybe getting something special. I just figured, hey, this is what the average person gets when they order a pina colada at the sandbar. So I went with it. But the um, pina colada at Snooks was far more tastier and far better looking. The uh, pina colada at the sandbar was just kind of sad but other than that um, certainly go to the sandbar they have great drinks uh, they have great food live music go to Snooks great bar food great drinks live music sunsets beach you'll have a great time if you like this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. That really helps with the Altu, uh, algorithm and bringing more people to the channel. Share it with people, and I'll see you at the next Tiki Bar Review. Thanks. Bye.